blew up too fast because you were like here one day and the next day you way up here. So with that, um, I ain't gonna say it's too fast. I feel like everything is perfect timing. Okay. You feel me? So it's like, I blew up fast, so I didn't have the time to make mistakes like everybody, like the normal artists that gradually blow up. Mm -hmm. They have a chance to make mistakes, and it's not just the public. I just not on them all mm -hmm. the way. But since I went from zero to 100, it was like, damn, I ain't got, like, the time to go in between the 20s, 40s, 50s, right. 60s, and, like, make my little mistakes without the whole world just being on me so mm -hmm. hard. But even with, like, all the pressure, it really just still make you a stronger person mm -hmm. at the end of the day. When you have a hit, how much pressure is it on you when you have a hit like that and you blow up to feel that everything that you got to make after that got to be at that level? That's where I start overthinking it <clears throat> because my first three songs was big. Mm -hmm. My first three songs I ever dropped. And so it was like when I after I dropped my EP and it did good, too, and I had sold out my first tour and everything, it was like, OK, I sold out my first tour with the small rooms. Mm -hmm. So now I got to make bigger songs and get the bigger rooms right. instead of I, I wasn't. It, it was yeah, it was pressure of just thinking I gotta go so big. But you do realize, Glow, you can make great music and it might not have the commercial success. Mm -hmm. And I like to use Michael Jackson as an example. Yeah. Like Thriller, it drove him crazy because every song that he made after Thriller, he thought it was gonna be that. That's an anomaly. That's a once in a lifetime thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing with me with Cat Williams. Everybody's like, man, you ain't gonna never get another cat. I understand that. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do a, qu a quality conversation. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have the commercial success as the first two or three, that doesn't mean you're not making great music. Right. Do you understand that? I understand now. But... It's still hard though. You still, because that mm -hmm. high of making that music and the way you feel in the, in the, in the, in the city and, and it's buzzing. Right. Like, blow that. Ooh, she that. <laughs> yeah, you know what you are. Uh huh. You want to feel that again. There's nothing like that initial high. There's nothing like that. And you chase it. Right. It's just like a fiend. Mm -hmm. That first high. Right. There's nothing like it. 